Well, last year, Hero gave the Expulse 200 a major update by making it BS6 compliant. So because of that, the bike became noticeably nicer to ride. But that was not about it. What Hero have done now is given the Expulse 200 another major upgrade to make sure that it rides better. And this time, it comes in the form of the Expulse 200 4V. Ever since this bike came to the market, there was nothing like it off-road and the balance it had as it was the primary or the daily bike for most garages, it was simply brilliant. It was light, had a peppy motor which was easy to maintain and efficient AF, made it quite ideal for the city and the normally bad roads that we have over here in our country. And with the rally kit, it was just another breed when it came to off-roading. But on the highways, things changed quickly once you go past 100 kmph mark and you could really feel the stress on the engine. Apparently, Hero has looked into it. Well, as the name suggests, the bike now has a 4 valve cylinder head. So in return, you get 1 extra bhp, 1 newton meter of torque and well, the oil cooler is also 25% bigger. Since the motor is only making 19 bhp, you will be revving it out a lot. So because of that, the heat management is well quite sorted. Well, when it comes to the cylinder head, it's just one of the major updates to hide the invisible changes that's been made on the bike. That is, the gear ratios for all the five gears over here, they have been changed completely. So your first gear is tall, the second and uh, third gear have perfect mid-range for city rides and low speed riding and your fourth and fifth gear have enough power and torque delivered so that on highways you can make those overtakes whenever needed. One more thing, those sprockets now bigger by seven more teeth. Well, all these changes are actually quite noticeable and the better gearing and the extra power make this bike all the more energetic and fun to ride. That was something that was missing in the older 2 valve version. So well, that is again a very big plus over the change. This time the 5 speed gearbox actually feels usable and kind of sufficient until you start pressing the bike over 110-115 km per hour. Well, apart from all these changes that have happened mechanically, Hero has, you know, well, heard out its customers and taken feedback and worked on to it. Well, for example, the switch gear here is again quite new. The old ones tend to, you know, slip and fall off at times. Well, it could have been better, but they work fine and they're quite easily accessible and, you know, good to reach out to. And the headlights are now set to be 20% more brighter. Uh, one more thing you notice is that the harder and harder you go, you'll realize the need of the rally kit to extract the entire potential of the bike. But again, there are small things here and there, which is, you know, actually quite nice. If you look at the foot pegs over here, you can remove the rubber and there actually have grips on that. So you can have your motocross boots slotted perfectly on the foot pegs so that whenever you're going hard off-road, you'll have your grip. And even the brake levers are new. So even they have the special texture over there to make sure that you have the grip on your motocross boots whenever you're riding hard. Hero Motocorp gave us the amazing opportunity of getting us down to their x tracks event and get a proper taste of how the X-Pulse 200 really feels when pushed in its natural habitat. And trust me, with the rally kit, it's more like the bike pushes you to go harder and harder. The bike with the rally kit, it demands precision, it demands expertise from the rider because one, it's over 900 mm tall with the rally kit and it soaked up all the bumps like it was no one's business. Cans, boulders, jumps, everything, it went through all of it with flying colors. And the engine, the revised gear ratio, the four valves on the head and even the work that they have done with the fueling, everything makes it a lot more exciting and an energetic experience which is a very big plus point over the older 
200 with the two valves instead of the four. So off-road, very, very impressive. And the knobby tires, well, they won't give you grip on the road. Well, that's because it's a rally kit. So here where it matters, you have ample amount of grip. You can make the bike slide around as you want. And if you do it right, it will also make sure that you look like a champ. Well, there are definitely some really good perks to these bikes over the old model. They are, well, it's way more refined. Touring is even more possible thanks to the longer 4th and 5th gears. It was already a good off-roader and now is better. Well, uh, we had a chance to ride the Expulse 204V with the rally kit off-road. Post-ride, the chassis is as good as ever, as communicative as ever. You know what the front wheel is doing, you know what the rear wheel is doing. The brakes are well okay. Uh, single channel ABS completely fine, no nitpicks over there about not having dual channel ABS but the front ABS intrudes a lot when you brake too hard so at times if you're going really seriously hard you might have to remove the fuse uh, and the front brake it could have well been better with at least better feel sometimes it feels dead but other than that the chassis as good as ever uh, the suspension really good soaks up the bumps it well and with the rally kit it just feels as if you're floating over any obstacle that comes in your way and the engine the revised gear ratios the bigger sprocket it makes a world of difference compared to the old bike both on road and off road so well if you are really considering something like this you should try this out and you should also if possible ride the older bike just to understand how good this one is well ultimately because of all these updates you can well consider it as a competition for well the boys in the segment that is the himalayan and now the hd adventure because well they could tour they could do off road and again they they, are, they do that really very well what this could do very well was only off road but now because of the revised uh, gear ratios sprocket etc this will also do better than before on the highway so well let me know or rather let us know in the comments down below what do you think about it and the competition whether will you go for it go for it with the rally kit everything down in the comments below check out our website uh, thedrivershub.com we have new stuff coming over there very very soon so keep an eye out for that and well meanwhile please hit down on all the important buttons the bell notifications subscribe and also do share the video that will help us a lot and also help us to bring more and more better content to you so until then i'll see you in the next one ciao